Tesla, Rivian, Atlas, and Bollinger. Those are four companies that are paving the way when it comes to electric trucks in our future. My name is Thomas and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Let's get right into the information. Currently, you can't actually buy a fully electric truck. But what you can do is either put a down payment on either Rivian or Atlas's design of a fully electric truck, or you can just buy a Ram 1500 that has the e-torque built in, but I would barely even call that a hybrid. Trucks are a big deal, literally and figuratively. Trucks keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you look at the old Ranger versus the new Ranger, it's obviously gotten bigger. And same if you look at the F-150. The old F-150 versus the new F-150 is much bigger. This is for another time, but I honestly, honestly think that they were inspired a lot by the old F-150 when it came to the new Ranger. They were basically the same size, but like I said, that's for another day. And they're also a big deal because the sales for trucks and SUVs keep skyrocketing every single year with the F-150 always on top, which is why I use it as an example. Now, before I get into to all the information and the specs of the future electric trucks that are going to be coming out hopefully in late 2020-ish, I want to talk about the specs of the 2019 F-150 because that's going to be a really good benchmark to see how well these trucks are going to be handling in our future. To start off with, the F-150 has an average range of about 570 miles, which is the same as 917 kilometers per tank. It can seat anywhere between three and six people. The price ranges between $28,000 and $67,000. American. When it comes to horsepower and torque, I'll use their 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. It produces 325 horsepower and 400 pound foot of torque. The toughest version has a max towing capacity of 13,200 pounds. And if you go with the Raptor, you can do 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. Rumor has it that Ford is working on a fully electric F-150 and Rivian might have an important role in that since we just saw Ford invest $500 million into Rivian and it's just a weird coincidence that the Rivian and the F-150 have the exact same wheelbase. And we also saw Rivian testing their batteries and new frame with an F-150 50 body, but I'll get into that more in a second. So now you kind of know where the benchmark is and what the most popular truck in America and here in Canada is doing, now we can get into the electric trucks and what they're boasting for numbers. In this video, I'm not going to be talking about the company Workhorse because they're just making fully electric vans for companies like UPS and they are making a truck that's meant more or less for construction sites, but it will be a hybrid. It'll be mainly electric and then it'll have what they call a range extender and that's going to be a combustion engine, so I'm not including that in this because it is not fully electric. When it comes to the Tesla, we don't have a whole lot of information, but Elon Musk did release the concept and a few specs while on stage and through a few different tweets. Apparently, it's going to have a range between 400 and 500 miles. It will seat up to six people. The max towing capacity is apparently going to be 300,000 pounds, which is 136 tons, which is absolutely insane. It will have a dual motor all wheel drive system. Sadly though, when it comes to price, horsepower and torque, top speed, zero to 60 time, battery and ground clearance, I don't know a whole lot, but what I can tell you is there is going to be a lot of all of it. And a few key notes when it comes to the Tesla all revolve around its styling. When Elon Musk released the concept picture on stage of this truck, they had a photo of an F-150 sitting in the bed of this truck, which means it's gonna be absolutely enormous. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> You can legally drive that. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be legal, but um, <laughs> um, you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. And after that, we started seeing a lot of renderings and concepts from individuals that put together what the Tesla truck may look like if it was inspired by other Tesla models. But at this point, when it comes to the design, we really don't know a whole lot, and they might have changed their mind completely. I am going to be sticking with what Elon Musk released at the show, though. Hopefully Elon does give us some more information soon on this truck, another photo, maybe some more concept art, or at least some more numbers, because I am really, really, really interested to see what the current electric vehicle leader is doing when it comes to trucks and SUVs. So fingers crossed that it happens soon. Now we're gonna talk Rivian. Rivian is really interesting to me, and I think that they're doing a very good job with their marketing and also their funding. Apparently the Rivian is going to have a 400 plus mile range, 
a charge time that can get you to 50% in 30 minutes. It'll seat either five or seven people, depending on if you go with the truck or the SUV. It'll have a price of around $70,000 US, but do keep in mind that in the US, the government will give you a large chunk of money, somewhere in the ballpark of $7,500 if you buy a vehicle like this. And that would bring the price down to $62,500. In terms of funding, Rivian is doing very well as their now estimated worth is around $1.5 billion thanks to investments like the $700 million led by Amazon and the $500 million from Ford. In terms of towing, they say it can pull 11,000 pounds, which is the same as 5,000 kilograms. The battery will come in 105, 135, or 180 kilowatt hour, giving you some astonishing numbers. For example, it's going to have 750 horsepower and 14,000 newton meters of torque. Now, we aren't going to know exactly what that translates to in pound feet of torque like most vehicle manufacturers use until we get a gear ratio from Rivian, but it will be somewhere in the ballpark of 10,000 pound-feet of torque, which if my math is correct is absolutely insane. It is limited to 125 miles per hour and can do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, which for a truck is absolutely mind-boggling. They are going to have a quad motor all-wheel drive setup, and on their website they have a few interesting ways of representing their measurements. For example, they said the ground clearance is 360 meters millimeters, which after doing some math is 14.2 inches. Some cool facts about the Rivian include the fact there is a 350 liter gear tunnel, which is accessed from a door on either side of the truck and is placed just in between the bed and the rear seats. And that means that it's bigger than the 330 liter front trunk volume, because obviously there's no engine. You can drive the Rivian through up to one meter of water, and it has level three autonomy, which means it can pretty much drive itself. Next is Atlas. There's saying their truck can get a total of 500 miles of range and they've stated that you'll be able to fully charge their truck from empty in 15 minutes and they have backed that up by saying they do have proof of concept on a mid-sized battery that they charged in under 13 minutes. They also go on to say that they can do 15 minutes charge time today and hopefully five minutes tomorrow which means they're still trying to improve this time to make it even better and it's quite interesting when it comes to price because they've given you a couple options. The first option is you can buy it outright for $45,000 American or you can go on their subscription service and for $700 a month you can drive one of their vehicles. In terms of funding, Atlas has just over $1 million of funding that they've raised through reservations and people donating money and this is all going towards building their first fully functional prototype. The max towing capacity will be 35,000 pounds or 16,000 kilograms. The horsepower and torque is sadly unknown but when it comes to top speed it's going to be 120 miles per hour and a 5 second 0 to 60 time. In terms of battery size, they say that they won't disclose this information just yet, but they will tell us that it has a quad motor all wheel drive system and 12 inches of ground clearance that you can also bump up to 15 inches if you get their more expensive suspension. A few fun facts about the Atlas that are included on their website is that it can do 0 to 60 in 18 seconds with the max GCWR, which is 35,000 pounds, which again is absolutely insane just like the rest of these numbers with these electric vehicles and I really really hope they can pull this off. They are going to be getting rid of the side mirrors and replacing it with some sort of camera system. It'll have a 5,000 pound payload capacity and if you buy it outright with the $45,000 price tag, it'll come with a 10 year warranty. And last but not least, I want to talk about Bollinger who I think is the most modest out of all of these companies. They have stated a minimum range of 200 miles, a charge time of 75 minutes, a seating capacity of four. They have announced that their starting price will be announced soon. In terms of funding, it is privately self-funded through a gentleman called Robert Bollinger who founded it and he's getting all of his funds from his share of a $336 million deal through selling John Masters Organics. The towing capacity will be 7,500 pounds, which is the same as 3,400 kilograms. In terms of horsepower, there'll be 640 with 668 pound foot of torque. The top speed will be 100, the 0 to 60 time will be 4.5 seconds, the battery size will be 120 kilowatt hours, it will have a dual motor all wheel drive system, 
and have a total of 15 inches ground clearance. It has a aluminium body, the weight will be split 45-55, it will have a patented pass-through door so you can fit something like lumber that's up to 16 feet long all the way through the truck. And it will come in two versions, the B1 which is more of an SUV and the B2 which is more of a truck. And I personally think it looks a lot like the old Lamborghini LM002. It's definitely got more of an old boxy style to it. And to wrap it up, I want to talk about availability for all four of these trucks, starting off with the Bollinger. They have stated that production will start in 2020, but have no official release date. In terms of Rivian, they are aiming to have people actually driving these trucks in late 2020. And lastly, when it comes to Tesla and Atlas, they have no official release or production date. But I assume that they're going to be aiming for around the same mark of late 2020. And if you line each one of these trucks up side by side, including the F-150, you can see that there are some clear winners in each category. And the entire truck market is just about to change drastically. But now I want to hear from you guys and what you think of the looks of these trucks as well as how you think they're going to perform. So comment down below what your thoughts are on these trucks. Also feel free to comment any updates down below and I'll be pinning the most up-to-date one to the top of the comments. Feel free to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and like what I do here on this channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.